This opened up when we rebooted. This is your um, online help. And it looks like there's plenty of stuff here. How do I use the printer? How do I use the easy print utility? It's not a uh, typical too in-depth how to use a remote con what does a remote control do? How to use remote control for the fax. You can call in and <coughs> excuse me the and um Let's see. Now, remote control is to set up the fax. It's like a little utility will go through that. But anyway, uh, it also says something about an answering machine. Oh, that's that's pretty awesome. I didn't know it had a uh, answering machine. Surprise, surprise. All right, so uh, here's the software, and it starts up, and... Um, I think it's going to start up every time you boot up your machine. Um, you can minimize it down here, and then it'll click it, and it'll start back up again instantly. Um, it'll let you right-click and go to all the major functions. Scan, PC, fax, remote control, utilities, settings. Uh, I'm not sure what this, that is. We'll find out. And over here we have Panasonic uh, device monitor, which we just were screwing with. Um, the multi no, actually, that what we were just screwing with is a multifunction station, and all of these things are available in multifunction station. PC factory remote control scan settings and we uninstall usage tips the viewer is a file viewer and then the manual is here easy print utility uh, there's nothing to it runs automatically uh, you can see it in the print driver and um, I think I just clicked it, clicked this viewer thing. I'm waiting for something to happen. Oh no, I just clicked the operating instructions. But viewer, I believe. Well, here comes the manual, and here's the viewer. <clears throat> you can pull a scan into the viewer, I'll open an existing document, print it, save it, uh, move it. Let's crop it, send it to OCR, uh, fit it in the window, stuff like that. Um, go through the files, turn pages manually, have a little slideshow, jump to a page in a multi page document. I don't see anything about um, removing pages. Yes page delete insert a page so you can put together a couple documents in here manually if you'd like and work on them a little bit and, and then print them out the um, PDF user guide a fair amount of stuff cleaning instructions Clean the feeder, clean the platen and the white plates, which is that, that. Oh, the looks, looks like it's all right. Panasonic usually is pretty good with these manuals. <coughs> uh, let's go back over here to the uh, multifunction station. Uh, you click scan. And you get this nice little this nice little toolbar here. Uh, this opens the viewer. Oh, it scans to the viewer. It scans to a file and uh, one of your picture folders or or your document folder. You can probably specify that here. 
uh, sure enough you can specify um, for each so when I want to send to viewer I can say save it here I uh, send to file I can you can specify where it goes email goes to your to your um, default email client and it'll attach as a it'll attach it to a new email OCR you might want to have that show up in your documents without this MF scan stuff and um, each one of these has a set of defaults and you can see when you change it to email it switches to 200 DPI when OCR sw switches to black and white <clears throat> And with this custom, you can mess with all the settings. It's TIFF, PDF, JPEG, bitmap. You can have it open in an application. You can have it open in an application um, such as Photoshop or some other application that you use frequently and you browse for uh, that application uh, in on your system. So you would go into program files and um, program files and say I wanted to send it to uh, Photoshop or, or Reader or I don't have Photoshop on here but you get the if I wanted it to open up in Reader I would come over here and and have it open up in I believe this is probably it Reader SLX don't take it for gospel oh no it's Acro Acro read 32. So if I specified this, uh, my custom my custom scan would automatically open up in, in in Adobe Reader. So you get the picture. And the launcher display setting original Windows standard um, um, that would probably be the UI. Oops. I'm not sure what that means, but um, here's your OCR path. You know, it changes its documents. This doesn't exist yet, so that's why it was complaining. Um, not a big deal to get into depth. Uh, so that's how this works. That's pretty easy to figure out. PC facts. Now you can any document you can send out as a fax. Uh, communication logs. Basically, that's all this is. And it tells you uh, things that were sent, things that were received, faxes that come in, you can view. You can resend them, delete them. You can even send them to OCR. I'm not sure what this is. It's something that happened during the installation. or it's left over from another Panasonic but it says the file doesn't exist I wouldn't read into that too deep remote control is an ability to a lot of machines have the uh, a web page I believe this is in lieu of the web page when the setting is changed password is necessary please look in the operating instructions for details only that means that the uh, <clears throat> password is in the operating instructions so you can set up the phone book here. You can create a new phone book and put in a uh, put in a um, location. Add it. Okay. Uh, this is to set up the facts. You can set up everything you need to. Uh, your logo, your fax number, um, dialing mode, I mean, everything you need to do um, for your fax can be set up here instead of at the control panel. It would be much easier to do it from here. There is no QWERTY keyboard on the control panel. You would have to use, uh, I believe it's called T5 input, like you would use on a, entering a text message on a phone with no... Um, Keep keypad, no new uh, alpha numeric keypad. This is your fax journal. This is your caller ID. I don't want to save the changes. 
utilities. Uh, we looked at the viewer device monitor. We haven't. Okay, now that's showing us that it's in standby mode. I'll try to wake it up. All right. Actually, you know, I I push the speakerphone button, and you can see right over here that it's it's showing me what it said on the control panel. Enter the phone number. So this is pretty cool, and it's telling you exactly what's going on. Tell you exactly what's going on with the control panel. Like with a USB cable, it's going to be right next to you anyway. But it's still nice. You don't have to crane your neck to see what it says over there. Um, Get advanced information. Uh, it tells you if there's paper in it and if there's toner in it. Go back to basic. And I don't see anything about making it always available. So basically, you have to click on this to look at device monitor. Sometimes they're down here and you can click on them uh, but remember if let's go back if we put this down here and you right click it and you can see device monitor right here so you don't have to go mucking around over here so basically that's it it's um the uh installation was a bit painful and um, took a long time. The hardware installation was a piece of cake, so it balances out somewhat. And but once you get it installed, it's really straightforward. Panasonic is good at this stuff, at making things simple. And um, once you get it done, you know you'll be happy with it. Now let's just do one more thing, and then I'll shut up. Let's look at the print driver. Okay, you can see uh, down here, here is the, okay, if you want to use that easy print utility, you would select that as your print driver in the application. And uh, what you would get is it would, you'd print, 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 and then you the a dialog box opens up and allows you to uh, rearrange the prints, take pages out, insert blank pages, and print the whole thing. Uh, you know, you, it could be pictures from one application and text from another and um, combine it all into one document to print it in one shot. So let's look at the uh, print driver. Well, I'm pretty used to seeing this. All right, you have... Um, A picture of what your document looks like here. Paper, custom paper. Uh, you would have to add those yourself. Yourself. Here's the sizes. Uh, the types. Not too much here. Thin, thick, label. The tray that you want to feed from. Number of copies, collate. The quality, standard. Draft, contrast, there's a toner save, which is nice. All of this is, allows you to, it's a black and white printer, but allows you to override the any grayscale capabilities. Um, watermarks, you can add watermarks here. You can delete them, you can change them and save them. There's a text, you, I could change this sample text to something else. I can change the size, I can change the angle, and then save it as something else. And 
uh, transparent text, outline, borders, uh, watermark in the foreground, back background. This allows you to overlay documents over the prints. You specify, you can make an over, overlay file, you name it. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Uh, profiles are going to be print jobs that you would um, uh, recall um, over, I don't see it on the front here. They would be here. See these, these are your profile. No, they're not. Poster. Well, maybe they would show up over here as an icon. At the, at the very least, you could select it from from here. There would be a row of of uh, custom settings here that you could that you could use. Actually, you can save them, delete them, export, and import them. And I'm pretty sure that they show up over here as uh, as different icons, so you could quickly recall them and support. Let's just tell me what the print driver. Print, print the version of the print driver in the files. So that's it. Pretty easy. Um, Panasonic make always makes it easy with these things. We're looking forward to um, continuing the test, and thanks for watching.